Hey there, it's Steph from Engaged. Today I want to talk about the Engaged Handbook. So this guy right here, I was going to see if I could get the rose gold foil to like sparkle. Oh, there we go. Um, this was a labor of love of mine that me and my girls worked on last year and we are so proud of it. Um, this was created out of uh, blood, sweat and tears and love in our heart for you based on your needs as a Birmingham bride. So from helping you for 10 years, helping brides for 10 years navigate the wedding planning process, we one of the biggest complaints that they all had um, were that they would go to a big wedding website and sign up for checklists and they were overwhelmed. They would immediately get a notification, you're behind on 78 tasks, or they would go to a bookstore and buy this beautiful wedding planning binder and then go to page one, two, and then they freak out by page three because they, again, feel behind and it's like too much information. So we tried to, we, when we were creating the handbook, like what are all the necessary components to walk a bride through planning that doesn't let her get stressed out and kind of keeps her on track. So that was like our mission behind creating this. Um, if you, when you get your book, I, I'm, I'm going to pull something out of here. So we have this little section called how to use this book and there are four little, um, four little descriptions. Uh, you use this book for inspiration, for planning, for education and encouragement. So I'll just tell you briefly about each one. So the inspiration part, uh, we have photo shoots in here um, with some of our inspirational like colors for the season, um, fashion, um, you know, some unique, some unique photo shoot and style shoots that may inspire you in your own way. So that's for inspiration. Um, the next is planning. So the two parts of planning that we have in here, uh, one is we've got a bunch of our venues in the first section in our venue gallery right here and having this printed it, it's something about a bride loves having something tangible to hold so we got we got a lot of our venues um, featured in here so that you can see some beautiful photography and then we have little sections that kind of summarize why this venue is awesome and who it's perfect for so that helps you in your planning, picking a venue. Um, next we have, I'm gonna point out the workbook section. So um, in here, you're gonna have workbook pages. And I also wanna tell you that the pages in the handbook are uncoded, uncoded, which means you can write in them with a pencil or pen and it won't smudge. That was intentional because we want you to use this a lot and make tons of notes in it. But the workbook pages, they really follow along with the meetings that we have it engaged. We've kind of, um, taking the planning process down into four stages. We call them engaged 101, 201, 301, and 401. So um, 101 goes over like what we call the foundation. These are date sensitive vendors and your venue. Um, and 201 is, um, they're not necessarily date specific vendors that you need to book, but time sensitive. Uh, 301 are more of your details and other vendors that can do multiple weddings on a date. So they're not as, again, not as time sen time sensitive. Um, and the last one, Engaged 401, are the things that our brides uh, most commonly forget, or these are last minute things that we need to talk about to make sure that you're all set and ready to walk down the aisle, become a bride, become a, um, a wifey. So we also have, to help you with your planning, tons of checklists. Okay, I'm not gonna say tons because that might overwhelm you. We have like probably eight of the most popular, most useful checklists that our brides ask for. And uh, one of our brides' favorite is the groom's to-do list. Um, it's always great to incorporate him um, and get him something to focus on to make him feel part of the process and give him something to do so that he's not feeling left out. Um, okay, so that's that's how it helps with your planning. Um, education is is very similar. Th that's the third component in the work in the handbook. So we've got some of our local experts to write us articles about who pays for what and what is tipping etiquette, um, stuff like that. So it's going to really educate you. Um, and then our checklists are very educational. Like these are the things that are in a paper suite, and these are the items that you need to ask your florist when you meet with them about what you need included. So that's going to help you ed be educated. And the last part is encouragement. Um, we have got some fun little 
like gifty things in here. Um, I don't want to be a spoiler and tell you what they are, but you're going to like it. Um, it's really sweet. Lastly, I want to point out, um, we've got some of our real engaged brides in here um, that we've worked with over the past year, and we had so much fun helping them. They, they offer like a little piece of advice for you, um, very personal, so that's sweet. Um, so yeah, when you join Engaged, you get your own ha handbook. Um, and this is the back of it with all the beautiful rings. Um, the membership's $50 and we can mail it to you or you can pick it up and, or you can purchase it at your Engaged 101 appointment. But anyway, that is about my, our little baby, the Engaged Handbook. I hope that helps. And again, I'm Steph from Engaged. Thanks.